Is God a racist according to the Bible? Sound like it. Deuteronomy 76, he said, For thou art a holy people. The Lord thy God has chosen thee, you Israelite, to be a special people unto himself. Truth bearing my soul like Paul to Damascus. Now I'm on the block wearing my robe to call on the masses to repent and turn back to the ways of the most high. Better rallies in the midst of us watching with close eyes because they know the power in this word. For those dry bones, ages they infiltrate us, but this is no fly zone. Uh, fearing no man, no evil. I get preach when I get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely do that. All right, everybody. Um, morning. Sorry, uh, <laughs> we late better with that. Um, let's uh, face the east and open up the Heavenly Father. <clears throat> Our Yah, we thank you, Father, for another Shabbat, and we thank you, Father, for allowing us to make it here safely. Please, Father, allow your Holy Spirit to be upon this congregation, and please, Father, edify this lesson so we all can get a deep understanding of how to worship you. Please forgive us, Father, for our sins, the sins of our forefathers. Please, Father, be with our brothers and sisters that couldn't make it. We know we all going through trials, Father, to help us please to overcome so we one day can make it home. In the name of your Son, the Messiah, so be it. So be it. Um, last week, we went over about wisdom and knowledge. Um, I'm going to do a little recap, um, but I'm going to open up with saying that we all know we Israelites. We all know that in most camps, everybody knows it. And they keep beating it home every day, all the time that we Israelites. But what we're forgetting is that we don't give our father his due. We are in this mess because we did not give him what he deserves. And that's our love, you know, respect, and honor. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been just glorifying ourselves. And a lot of us still doing it now, we woke up. You know, we just, oh man, I'm an Israelite, cool. And we just running, and we forget about him. Right. Um, brothers and sisters, we hurt him. And I know a lot of people may say, okay, well, that was my forefathers. We responsible for our forefathers. We need to understand that. We are responsible for them, what they did. Right? I, How are we responsible for them? I'm going to bring it out the scripture today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. And what we're also going to learn, too, is that the other nations, they're responsible for their forefathers as well. See, nobody's getting out of this. Nobody. You know, the truth hurts on both sides. It's, it's going to hurt the Gentiles, and it's going to hurt Israel, right? Um, let's turn to Chronicles. It's always good to let the Scripture speak for itself. Let's go to, let's see. Let's go to 2 Chronicles 15, 13. Mm-hmm. 14, 15. Chapter 15, verse 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15. 15, verse 13. Right. Let's see. I have a question. Are we... Um, basically catching up from last week or is this a new uh it's both yeah it's gonna be like a recap and then it's also gonna be new mm -hmm. okay. All right. so. second chronicles 15 verse 13 verse 13 mm -hmm. have i got it mm -hmm. it says that whosoever would not see a height of israel should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman man or woman Y'all see that right there. We, we must seek our Father. We have to seek Him in the land of our captivity. This is, again, this is about Him. We know we Israelites. Okay, that's said and done. Now, what do we have to do as Israelites? We need to seek Him. We put here to be the light of the world. Got a question? Yeah, I can't find it. I was looking for it. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Come up. That, stop sitting in the back. You got to come up and be with us. By you being toward the back, you know you're close by the door. So the wind will take you right out. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> the second Chronicles 
15, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Also to the front of your Bible, you will say what page you go to. Right. Um, moving along, again, we're responsible for what happened. We have, we have, to, we are accountable for what our forefathers have done. Now, what I mean by this is break this down with scripture. Let's go to Exodus twenty and five. Now, the Torah is not done away with. That's the first five books, All right? It's just twenty and verse five. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all have heard me say this many times in class, many times. You cannot get understanding of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Exodus. I'm already asked. What's wrong? Oh, not there. I'm going to put your hand down. Now I'm waiting here. You got to be attentive. You got to be attentive. See, remember, when you do this like this, you're not doing that showing that, to me, you're showing that to him that you're disinterested. I'm not, I, I'm not disinterested. But you're showing that attitude, that spirit. He's looking at you through like this. Now, he called you and gave you this knowledge. And there's a lot, there's hundreds of people out here. They think they know this, they don't. He gave this to you so you could read it. So you could teach them. But by you doing this, you're showing him that you don't care. Come on. I, come on. Yep. Exodus um, 20. Yep. Verse 5. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yah, am a jealous Yah. Get visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Mm -hmm. So do y'all see that? Let's take that again slow. It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, mm -hmm. nor serve them. For I, Yah, am a jealous Yah, mm -hmm. visiting the iniquity of the fathers of upon fathers. Upon who? The children. Children. Unto the third, third and fourth generation, generation of them that, that hate me. Now, you mean to tell me the children had something to do with what their fathers did, but they still won't answer for it. You see that, right? That's right. Let's get a second witness. Let's go to Lamentations 5. That's chapter 5 of Lamentations. And we're going to start at verses 7 and 8. Again, the Torah is not done away with. It's the first five books. And right after that is Joshua. That's what we call the prophets. You cannot understand New Testament if you do not understand Torah. You can't. It won't make sense. All the prophets and stuff are drawn from Torah. And on top of that, there are books that are missing out of the Bible, which we went over in previous classes. That's why a lot of times the Bible is kind of hard to make sense because you have to get these other books and dig deep into them. See, the prophets are digging from those books as well. All right? We're going to go into um, the Apocrypha, too. Um, to bring out some more points. Lamentations. Right. Mm -hmm. Chapter 5. Lamentations towards the back, right? Yeah, let me spread out the um, life. Right in front of Ezekiel. Take 7. Jeremiah again. Five seven eight. It's right in front of you. It's right there. It's learning follows. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm not the one that gets lost. Everybody do. Everybody do. Nobody's in from this. You've been in this 50 years and, oh man, I forgot. Yeah. It's a lot of knowledge. Our father's not that easy to learn. It, trust me. We have to seek him out, and that's what we're doing right now. All of us, even me. Yeah, I'm going to get, get twisted too sometimes. Yeah, I have to go back and go my notes. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a non, it's a non stop thing. And that's why you see me with a bunch of books. I was just That's what I'm, what I'm got, I got. Yeah. All right, y'all yeah. ready? Hold on. The Bible goes deeper than just the King James 1611. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to start that's noticing right. that. Our Father's Word spread out through many books. That's right. You have to take him with you when you start seeking him. See, that's why a lot of people sometimes see on the camera, they're like, man, I got all my books and stuff. All I need is the King James Version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a starting point, but you have to keep growing. You have to keep growing. Keep daily. being fruit daily. Daily. All right? I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, limitations 5, uh, 7, and 8. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Mm -hmm. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that do deliver us out of their land. Right. Out, out of their hands. Out of their hands. Back it up. Go slow. Okay. Our fathers have sinned. And are not. And are not. And we, we have. Mm -hmm. 
born their iniquities. Born their iniquities. That means their wrong ones, their filth. Their, that means we inherited that. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? This is an Israelite book. This is not a book for the world. Once you know who this book is talking to, now it starts to make sense, right? Wait. So wait, if, let's say my father, um, fathers had murdered a lot of people, right? Would I get, uh, inherit those inequities, like have that same personality? I'm glad you brought that up. Let's say this, right? What you said. You built a house, right? Yes. You and your children stayed in the house. Yes. The one day this thief come along and killed everybody in there. They then took that house to themselves. Now he done started to have children in there. Hundreds of years done passed. All them thieves, all of, that thief that killed you and your people, they family is in them. Now, some of your people come along hundreds of years later and be like, that house belonged to my great, 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 great grandfather. And children be like, nah, well, we got this from my father. We didn't kill nobody. They inherited what he stole. So they got the answer for that. That's the century of the murder. Right. See what I'm saying? That's right. What I'm trying to bring out to you is that as Israel, all the stuff that the nation have done to us, our father gonna repay to them. See what I'm saying? All of it's gonna come back on them for what they have done to us. See? It's a lot of Exactly. A lot of them they say, oh, I didn't have slaves. Yeah, this is true, but you are getting the opportunity from what your nation have done. See what I'm saying? So yes, you're gonna answer for that. Think about it. Did you break the law, statute, commandments? To get put into slavery or be born into this captivity? No. But our ancestors sure did. <laughs> and we asked them for what they did. Yeah. See? That's why we over here right now. Oh, because of what they, they chose to do. Try the truth. Mm-hmm. We'll go to all black quarter left and you go to um Daniel. Mm-hmm. Daniel is saying he went to the captivity. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He killed too. That's right. You mean Daniel? All along in the captivity. You mean did Ezekiel the actual Ezekiel yeah. the captivity? Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel did everything he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Our father gave him specific orders, and Ezekiel followed it out. At the end of the day, what happened? Clean, clean, clean. He got locked up too. And done and everything. Yeah. So what did he do that was wrong? He didn't do anything wrong. He just gave us scripture. We bore our father's iniquities. Mm -hmm. sin. Remember, the heavenly father judges nations. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yep. Let's go to um Acts on that point that you just said. Yep. Yep. Always write down the um chapters of um sister. Yeah, well he did bring out that he judges nations what with um what with um what with um Jesus and the Bible says that 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 the children did something wrong, but you can't figure out which one it was. Mm -hmm. And the parents be like, all right, since none of y'all don't want to say, all y'all don't want to say. Yeah, that's how it is. Like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. So I'm going to go to uh, Acts chapter 10, 34, right? And a lot of us, we've heard this, this scripture before. Christians would use this on you constantly. Oh, God is not partial. Oh, he's not partial. Do you really understand what that means? <laughs> Do you actually understand what that means? He's not partial. He's not respect a person. He judges nations. See? Acts 10, verse 3. Mm -hmm. 34. Acts 10, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Wait, chapter 3? Mm -hmm. Chapter 10. Yep, mm -hmm. Acts 10. Okay, thank you. Verse 34? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Good? Yes, sir. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, of a truth, I perceive that Yah is no respecter of persons. Mm -hmm. See that? Now, the New World Translation is saying he's not partial. Right? Same thing. He's not respecter of persons. So, you're going to get judged as a nation. See? Now, again, like those slave ships that came over, and when they was getting rounded up, my ancestors getting rounded up, I'm quite sure a lot of them was keeping the law. It was some evil Israelites on there, and there was some good Israelites on there. But you know what? They all served captivity. Everybody got locked up in chains. You're not getting out of it. If our father says something, his word does not come back void. It has to come to pass. Christianity and all these other religions will have you believe that, oh, you know, if I'm doing this right here, I'm going to get raptured. Our father say this is going to happen, this is going to happen. If he say you're going into chains, you're going into chains. So, hmm. well, can you show me what scriptures it is that Christians use to claim that they're going to get raptured up? That's no. That's not really biblical. Yeah, it's not. Well, rapture is not that. What's this? Not. 
terminology. Yep. But they paid expenses, John 316. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it's also in Matthew 2 about being raptured. It said, like, uh, 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 two men be working in the field, and one was taken. I like taking means to be killed. It is. And when you read the bottom part of it, because it's in Matthew, and I think the other part is Luke. And you read that, at the end it says, well, where are the bodies? It said, where the eagles gather. If you know an eagle is a scavenger bird. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? An eagle eat, is eating on a dead body. Of course. It don't mean they getting raptured away in the heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? Yeah. But, but think about it. Most people don't read. See what I'm saying? When you don't read, it's easy to be manipulated. When you just listen to a guy on the platform, ah, I got you, I got you, you're going to get misled. You know, it's, it's he's telling you stuff to make you feel good, you know, and lying his pockets. It, it, it does feel good for Christians. Mm -hmm. They claim that everybody mm -hmm. is for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, let's go back to uh, Lamentations 7 and 8. So I can get this point out. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. So we, we know that we bear the, the, um, the sins of our forefathers, right? right? So part eight is that I want you guys to understand. Brother, sister, sorry. That's that guy. I want everybody to understand something. It says, servants have ruled over us. There is none that do deliver us out of their hands. What do y'all think that means? Servants rule over us. It oppresses. Presses. Mm -hmm. Why they call them servants? Probably that beforehand. Hold on. Sis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, but sis. That's why. Because uh, mm -hmm. they was put here to serve us. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So let's back that up with scripture. Let's go to 2 Ezra. This is an apocrypha. These are books that were taken out of the Bible. See? And now you're going to understand why they took them out. Again, I'm going to start more so teaching out of the apocrypha as well yeah, so we can all get a better understanding. understand. Same. Huh? Yeah, part, 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 yeah, second oh, entrance. Yeah, second entrance right. six. Uh -huh. Wait, is there from the right here? Yeah. 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 Right. Take the contest with that. And that Bible put it back. Yeah, like right behind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> take your time. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say, give me give me right there. Ninety five dollars. Never mind. Give me a bit. We're on in uh second Ezra. Chapter 6. Wait, is it from the back or from the front? It's in the middle. It's going to be right in the center. Yep. Mm -hmm. See it? Right after you pass Malachi, it should be right there. Because your apocryphal books is right there in the middle. I knew this. It's, it's, I'm in mean, apocryphal. I'm in mean, Maccabees. No, six. Yeah, 654. I'm in mean, Maccabees. Maccabees, go the other way. Obviously, wait. Obviously, wait. Right there. 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 This is it? Keep going. It's, That's how I should look at it. Yeah. So, um, chapter 6. Everybody got it? Chapter 6. Chapter 6, second Ezra, mm -hmm. chapter 6, mm -hmm. verses 54. Let me see about it. Six mm -hmm. and the apocrypha. Mm -hmm. Upon the sixth day, mm -hmm. oh, excuse me, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all the creatures, as it says in the apocrypha, you know, we're going to keep it out to the real. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Sure. Now, again, I don't went over this, this scripture right here plenty of times. Break it down slow again. It says, after thee, and after these, out of also whom thou madest, the Lord, Lord mm -hmm. over all the creatures of him, come we all, and the people also, whom thou hast chosen. So he's saying, all everybody that's on the planet that came to Adam, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, also the chosen people, you know, come to Adam. The chosen people are the Israelites. That's right. us. So right there, it's the a, it's a division. It's a distinction, right? Mm -hmm. 
Keep going, brother. First, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest, 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 us, madest the world of for our sakes. So he made the world for whose sake? The chosen our people, sakes. right? The Israelites. The whole world is made for our sakes. Keep going, brother. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen, which have, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us. And to devour us. Right there. 57. Do y'all see that? It says, And now, O Lord, behold these heathen. Heathen mean people of the nation. Unbelievers. Right? It says, Which have ever reputed as nothing. They've always been thought of nothing. It says, So have they be begun to be lords or masters over us and devour us. I mean, they devouring us. So he asked, like, How they they masters over us? Right? So that's telling you right there, they were servants. Mm -hmm. Verse uh, 58, bro. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, mm -hmm. thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, mm -hmm. are given into their hands. Mm -hmm. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Mm -hmm. Do y'all see that? Verses 58 and 59. So how are they over us? Why we ain't got no portion in the world? You see what I'm saying? How long we got to endure this? So what caused us to be in this situation in the first place? We hurt our father. Mm -hmm. We broke his laws. Being right. disobedient. disobedient. That's why the heathens run the world and they run into the ground. You know, me and my wife was at um, a park one day and we was looking at the animals and stuff. And now that my eyes are open, I've never viewed it like this before, meaning that all these animals and stuff is locked up in there, that's our fault. They suffering in there because of us. We were disobedient, so they suffering too. I actually looked at the lion in there and I'm like, man, he gotta stay behind his glass. He fat, but he behind the glass. He can't run loose like he's supposed to. He in captivity. The heathen just done tore this world up. Stuff going extinct, oil on the water. You see what I'm saying? But if you notice something, who they always focusing on? The Israelites. We the hardest people on the planet, right? They ain't calling the Israelites. But how are we the hardest people on the planet? And they tearing up the planet. But then now I'm really getting an understanding. It is our fault. Because we had never broke our father's laws and caused him that pain. None of this stuff would be out of whack. See? Um, so that's where that pain come from. A lot of people don't know where that pain come from. Why it's like that. Mm -hmm. That that need to be explained. I mean, when we cut chalk back in Moshe's, mm -hmm. like when it was in Mount Sinai, you know, and it was going up getting the get, get up the commandments, and we was down there serving bulls and calves and all that. We, we just turned to another God, and he he didn't he didn't even appreciate that. And that and and, and, and he's a jealous he's a jealous shot. So that's that's the difference why we at where we at now. And they kept going on and on, passed through passed through the um, the Persian slaves, who were slaves um, slaves for the Persians, as well to the Greeks and to the Romans. And that they, they kept going on and they kept changing, and it never got better because our whole history got hidden. That's why he called us in Psalms eighty three the hidden ones. They have a tumult, a tumult against us. A confederacy is a long lasting confederacy. If you ever look it up. Let's go to um, Hosea chapter 4, 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. 6 and 4? No. no. 6 and all. Uh, uh, Hosea, sorry. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. Hosea chapter 4. Chapter 4. Verse 7.
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy Yah. I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Mm -hmm. So think about Israel today. We are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Majority of our nation don't even want to pick up a book. They don't want to know and they get destroyed. And they're out there screaming and hollering, why? And it's right here in front of their face. They reject knowledge. That's right. That's right. And you say, because you reject knowledge, I'm going to reject you and your children. See? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it breaks it down. We go over Deuteronomy 28 all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not only in that, it's in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speak about what well, I mean about that. You go through that a lot. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 28, same thing, all that, all that sort of stuff. All that's better than like you say, other scriptures also. But for our not and his not. We know what over all that stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, going to um when we go to capital that we're not gonna be able to do this, we're not gonna be able to do that. All that's I stay in the um, other classes that we had mm -hmm. in the past. I know you gotta remind Jordan. That I always did go back to your notes, keep your notes. Yeah, you pill them up, man. Pill like your notes. Nobody's going through the school. So you know. um, and that's our kind of a little bit of an organized self. But we got you. We That's got right. you. Yeah, sure. we got you. Yeah, we got you. Um, let's go to Daniel uh, chapter nine, right? Um, why y'all turn down? We read over that that uh, verse again. That's Daniel chapter nine, nine. No, Daniel nine. Nine and nine. Nine and nine. nine, nine. Um, through fifteen, right? So y'all turn it now. I read this again. Get this fresh again. Um, Isaiah five thirteen says, "Therefore, my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge." And their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said chapter five. Nine and nine. No, nine and nine. I said I'm gonna read that. Well, okay. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. Nine and nine. Mm -hmm. Everybody has it. Yeah. To y'all, our y'all be long mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yah to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. Ye, all Israel, have transgressed thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, they curse. The curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moshe, that servant of Yah, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven, under the whole heaven, has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. Jerusalem, that means all of Israel. As it is written in the law of Moshe, all the evil has come upon us. Yet made we not our prayer before Yah, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore has Yah watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For Yah is righteous in all his works which he doeth. For we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Yah, thou hast brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and hast gotten thee re own. As, as at this day we have sinned. We have done wickedly. Yep. So we have done wickedly. Again, it's Tim. So like any father, I'm a good father. I'm punishing you because y'all decide to go against me. So now I'm going to punish y'all, mm -hmm. right? We did wickedly. We got punished. But one thing I wanted to stick out the most, y'all, is verses 12, where it says, For under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem or Israel. Nobody else can claim this but us. We are the lowest state on this planet than anybody else. And everybody is laughing at us. But them so-called elites know who we are because we stick out like a soul thumb. That is not natural for humans to be at the bottom for centuries like that and don't get it together. That's not natural. And they know that. It's the little peon people running around here laughing. Ah, oh, they don't know that. They don't even realize we the chosen people. That's why we act the way we do. Well, why those Muslims that be doing bomb fests and stuff like that? What you mean? The ones that be got Syria, like if we like being destroyed and their women's getting abused and they're like in poverty like it's a, it's a power struggle what's going on the gentiles are having a power struggle it's about who want to be in charge you know all that ain't gonna matter after you know <laughs> when i'm beside you begging them that's gonna matter they don't bring that out of here all of them going on lockdown that's what they did to us see um 
Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? right. Deuteronomy 30 and verses 19. Right, that's back in the Torah. It's going to be in the front of the book. Chapter 30. Mm -hmm. verse, verse. Actually, uh, verse 1. Yeah. 30 and 1. 30 and 1, yeah. And then we'll read that whole chapter. We'll read along um, <clears throat> chapter 30. Yeah. Get a better understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yah has driven thee. Okay? See that part right there? That goes to Deuteronomy 28, where he said he was going to scatter us to the four corners of the earth. Right? Mm -hmm. Now he's telling you again. Keep going, brother. And shall return unto Yah. And shall obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That then thy Yah will return, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither Yah hath scattered thee. Mm -hmm. Now he's telling you right there, he's going to bring us all back from captivity if we do what? Come at no commandments, come at the laws. Have compassion have upon compassion. Them. Again, it's not about hating other people. That's right. Just take accountability for our actions, our forefathers. Right? That's right. Keep going, bro. If any of the time if, if any of thine be driven out into the outermost parts of heaven, from thence will Yah gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Mm -hmm. And Yah will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And Yah will circumcise thy heart, and thy heart of thy seed, to love Yah with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Mm -hmm. And Yah will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Mm -hmm. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right there, verse 7. Now we're finna jump to the Apocrypha again. Right? Let's go to um, 2 Ezra 15 and verse 5. That's 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. Now this is gonna get interesting. Now this is something we brought up about earlier, Jalen, about the other nations. Now you see this verse 7. I'm going to read this out as everybody turn to, um, in the Apocrypha. It says, And Yah will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Y'all see that? So all the curses that we are under is going to go on our enemies. Hey, mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And put them that hate thee, that persecute thee. So all that stuff that we suffering, they finna go on. They finna get it all. 2 Ezra 15. Verses 5, we're going to read all the way down to 21. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why they took what they call the Apocrypha out. Mm -hmm. what, what chapter again? No, 15. Chapter 15 of the Apocrypha. Yep, 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. hmm. Get used to that. Mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. For that. Verse 5. I'm gonna read that. Okay. You got your department over there, bro? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it in there? Let me get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did yeah. you say that was out of there? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was yeah. telling yeah. you earlier yeah. that yeah. second yeah. Exodus yeah. one is. We're gonna have um the starters, first and starters, second and starter, all yeah. second yeah. Exodus. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go all the way down to five. That's when it's jump over. Yeah. Right. All the way down to twenty one. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I remember it back. <laughs> Behold. All right, you got it? Wait, yeah. verse 5? Yes, mm -hmm. verse 5. Ver yeah, verse 5. We're going on chapter 15. Mm -hmm. We're going to start at verses 5, go all the way to 21. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, this is going to talk about the curses that's going to go on to the other nations. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is why they took this book out. They cannot keep this in here and keep church. <laughs> <laughs> 
You see what I'm saying? That's right. All right. Keep, okay. Keep, yeah, it's going to make sense. Trust me. Just follow along. It says, behold, says Yah. Let me go read it just how you come down. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon thy world, mm -hmm. the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. The whole earth. Therefore, says the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, mm -hmm. which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold the innocent and righteous blood mm -hmm. crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Continually. Now we heard about this in Revelations, mm -hmm. right? It says the righteous or the saints cry day and night before the throne. How long, Lord? How long are you going to let this go on? Right? Mm -hmm. Keep going. And therefore says the Lord, I will sure, surely avenge them and receive vengeance to me. Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, yeah, I believe it. They're kidding. Long line. They got a V in line. Get to me. Yep. All the innocent blood from among them. Mm -hmm. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out stretched our arm and smite Egypt with plagues and before and I and will destroy all the land thereof. Ah, let's go back to 11. Mm -hmm. But now I catch this now. That's what I'm saying. Little words you got to catch. Read 11 again, brother. Take it slow. But, Check this out. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt. Egypt. Now, it's not talking about ancient Egypt now. With plagues. Mm -hmm. And before. As, as before. As before. As before. As before. So think about it. Is he going to strike Egypt again as before? No. He's talking about here. This is the house of bondage. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. As before and will destroy all the land thereof. Mm -hmm. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague of punishment that Yah shall bring upon it. Mm -hmm. They that till they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail, through the blasting and hot hell, mm -hmm. and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world, and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand. Vince, does it VP yep. to fight against another, mm -hmm. and swords in their hands. For there, sh there sh for there shall be sedition mm -hmm. among men, and in and in art did at mm -hmm. one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to the to shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Mm -hmm. A man shall have no no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, there, brother. All that we just read don't know sound like the curses in Deuteronomy twenty eight. Mm -hmm. This is what's gonna happen to the other people. Y'all see that happening again? This is why they can't have church and keep this book in here. They can't. Because all that happy, happy, joy, joy they talk about. Nah, that don't sound like that to me. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. Keep going, brother. Behold, says Yah, I will call together all the kings of the earth to, to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and, and Libanus, mm -hmm. to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. Nah. Nah. Pay very close attention to this, this next one. I, I love this one. Verse 21. Like as they do, yet this day, vengeance to my chosen, mm -hmm. so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Mm -hmm. Thus says Yah. Right. Now break that down in English. Mm -hmm. Again, like I broke it down once before. Like as they do, yet this day, unto my chosen, so will I do also to you. So whatever you're doing to the chosen people, our father said, I'm going to do it to you. Let's get a second witness on that. Let's turn to Nahum. It's a little small book. 
It's just like how Obadiah, everybody kind of skip around these little tiny books like Habakkuk and all that. Let's go to uh, uh, Nahum. Right? Nahum. Nahum. Mm -hmm. It's a little small book. I've never even heard of that. Oh, that Old Testament. See? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. It'd probably be a hard one. To... That's like right in front of Habakkuk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, uh, you know what y'all see Zephaniah? He's right before Mark. He said Nahum. He's right before Micah too. Right before Micah, right out. Um, and this is called Nahum right here. Yeah, I see it. Nahum, yeah, we'll be on chapter three. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 What has it? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's she? Actually, y'all okay. keep your markers right there. Go to Zechariah because I'm getting my precepts. <laughs> Sorry. Well, y'all keep Zechariah chapter 2 <laughs> and, and um, Zechariah yeah, uh, 8. Mm -hmm. 2 and 8. Mm -hmm. 2, two and, eight. and 8. Yep. He's right behind. Yep. We'll read that first and then we'll go, go to Nathan. Mm -hmm. um, chapter, we're going to chapter 2 and we're going to go um, verses 8. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it past Ezekiel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a small chapter. It's just a couple of books past. It's right, it's right after Agai. And right before Malachi. Malachi. Oh, Zach Old Testament. Zach 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 from the land of the north, says Yah. Mm -hmm. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven. So now you know he's talking about us. He's going to scatter us to four corners, right? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Says Yah. The, deliver thyself, o, o Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Mm -hmm. For thus says Yah of hosts, after the glory hath sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that toucheth you touches the apple of My his eye. Exactly. Wow. Do y'all see that? He still love us with the apple of his eye. Anybody that touch us, mm -hmm. he got something for them. Mm -hmm. That's see right. That? That's right. Now, awesome. going along with Second Ezra again, jump over to chapter one of Zechariah and verses twelve and fifteen. Right. That's Zechariah chapter one. Okay. And then we're gonna go to Nathan. Yep. Zechariah chapter one. one. Chapter one, yeah. verses twelve. Fifteen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next. Imagine a Not yet. I was like a rab one. Okay, I'm there. Yah answered and said, Yah of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah against which thou hast hid indignation these threescore and ten years? Mm -hmm. Fifteen. And Yah answered the angel that talked with me with good words and comfortable words. So, so the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, 
Thus says Yah of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. Mm -hmm. And I am very sore, displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Mm -hmm. They helped forward the affliction. Now breaking that down, yes, we were supposed to go into captivity, but all the extra crap that they did, this is why he displeased. He didn't say nothing as long as we was getting punished. So yeah, our ancestors are hollering and crying and screaming, he still got punished. See what I'm saying? That had to come to pass. But all the extra stuff, now he's angry. See what I'm saying? What do you mean by extra stuff? Extra stuff. Rape, murder. Rape, murder. All the extra stuff they did beyond these curses, that's what made him angry. Feeding children to alligators. Spoken bomb servants. Yeah. Uh, just slaves. Slaves. Like slaves, like back in their time when they mm -hmm. were slaves. All the extra, yeah, no, you good. All the extra evil. There's an angel right down all that. That's what the angel asked the father. How long you gonna you gonna just you know not gonna have mercy mm -hmm. on Jerusalem? How long you gonna you know not gonna do nothing? You know Judah and them getting destroyed. He asking him. You mean an angel that's generally just writing down about the nation? There's an angel in here writing down everything we do. That's why I, I get on you and I tell you about doing this. That's written down. You know that, right? Yeah. The way I teach, that's written down. Mm -hmm. If I don't get on you, when I ask, they gonna get on me. Mm -hmm. And it probably be too late then. So. Okay. You know, this thought, this is serious. I thought we could do this a little bit. You was doing like that. I was looking at the scriptures. You were showing disinterest. I was interested. You were showing disinterest. Like I said, this is very serious, brothers and sisters. The time is running out. This is not a game. That's right. Right? Um, let's go back to Nathan. This is uh, chapter 3, verse 10, right? Again, these little uh, small books that, you know, a lot, again, churches and stuff, they, they jump around. And again, they don't want Old Testament, what they call Old Testament. Mm -hmm. But Christ <laughs> clearly says, I didn't do away the law and I didn't do away the prophets. These are the prophets we're reading out of. So let's see what the prophets talking about. All right, that's chapter 3, verses 10, bro. Yet, when she carried away, she went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets, and they cast lots for her honorable men, and all her great men were bound in chains. Bound in chains. Now, I see right here it says, yet was she carried away. Who's carried away? Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. That's why it says she, right? Mm -hmm. Jerusalem. And who went into captivity? Her children, us. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? What the other nations did? They slaughtered us. Yeah, people got slammed against the rock. All that stuff. Capitated. However, what we just talked about, whatever you do to my chosen, I'm going to do to you. Let's bring that out. Let's go to Revelation 13 um, and 10, right? Mm -hmm. um, isn't there a precept that you just read this? Verse 10, when it says something about the honorable men. Um, yep. Um, and all the great men were down the chains. Mm -hmm. Can you just read something like that? Yep. Um, what it was in uh, Hosea? Wasn't it? Hosea 4 and 6. 4 and 6. People are destroyed because of that like knowledge. Yeah, sure. It's in verse 7. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Yep. I didn't want to add that. Yep. Revelation 13.10. Yep. that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. Revelation 13, 10, excuse me. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patience and the faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. Oh, sis, I'm sorry. That was uh, Daniel 9. Daniel chapter 9, uh, 9 through 15. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, 
But everybody understand that. If you lead into captivity, you're going to go into captivity. Now, who led us into captivity? The other nations, right? So they're going to go into captivity for what they did. Well, See? I thought it was kind of our own self, though. But parts of our own self, so we're not following the law. But did they touch us? Whoever touched Israel is like touching the apple of his eye. So, yeah, they, we have brought this on ourselves. But when they laid their hands on us, that's going to come back on them. It's, 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 it's like poison either way. It go way, way back. Yeah. We so made, back, back when we was passing through and they, uh, I forgot which, we passed through about Amalek, Amalek and Amalek. they told them they touched. They well, you, touched us. So that's that. started way back. Let's realize if you took anything of the fathers, no matter how good or bad, you will get destroyed. Yep. If they belong to him, his commands, all statue, whatever, his people, whatever he set apart, mm -hmm. you will take that and not that, he will take it. Yep. So what happened is people attacking each other. Well, yeah, that is kind of... Yeah, us. Yeah, but that's what we have done. The curse is coming back on him now. All right, when you look at the news and you look at all this stuff, just sit back now and really pay a close attention to it. People shooting up stuff and killing up a bunch of people. The other nations are doing this. See what I'm saying? These are the curses that's coming back on them. They're eating this. They're drinking this cup now. See? They, some of them starting to understand and realize that they're like, wow, you know, what's going on? Um, y'all not really paying attention to who Israel really was. Y'all was laughing and picking at them. Now y'all going through it. See? And America is going to go down. Well, they gonna, they probably that's right. They're going to think that they're lights too by using scriptures too. Yeah, but they're being false prophets. The Gentiles, once they're not supposed to be teaching this this book, period. That's why when we was in church, whatever denomination we're coming out of, that's why we confused. See? Look, what we just read in um, the Apocrypha. Which one? Second Ezra? Which when it said, uh, not 56. 15? Oh, I guess it was 15. 15. Second Ezra, verse 15, 5 through 21. 15, 5 through 21. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not 15. But, no. Um, 21. What I was going to say, you remember how you said one of the verses, you know, said, as it was before? Mm -hmm. That was like Ezra 15? I think so. Well, yeah, that remember was how the plagues and stuff going to come on Egypt and mm -hmm. all this stuff? All yeah, right, so that listen, that's talking about America, right? Mm -hmm. So look, Egypt, Egypt right? Mm -hmm. bondage. So you remember how uh, back then, how Moses tried to, what well, he did, but when he's delivering the children out of Israel mm -hmm. and he kept coming back to the Pharaoh, and he was telling him basically what does that uh, the most high. Mm -hmm. So every time Pharaoh, you know, really, like didn't want to let them go, a plague came upon the people, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing that's going to happen in America mm -hmm. because they don't want to let us go, that's true. right? Because they hold us in bondage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just thought about that. Yeah. It just came to me. That's pretty deep. Think, think about it too. Pretty deep. When you get a felony, right? Can you travel abroad when you have a felony? Can't vote. So who who got the most felonies? Yep. Ha. So they can't go out nowhere. Yeah. Hmm. Gotta realize, realize it's also, I ain't saying that deep, that is deep, but it's deep, deeper than Better that. Deeper than that, yeah. What happens is, they're not giving us the laws, those commandments, we need to follow. Mm -hmm. They're giving us the lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the bond, that's the Egypt that we're a part of their laws, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not our father's laws. They keep us held captivity to mm -hmm. their laws, not his laws. Mm -hmm. They know they got access to everything wrong with him, but they will not reveal back to us, and we gotta seek it out. So, long to keep us in captivity from this truth, what we're supposed to be written, everything is true name, we still have a lot of captivity over here. Mm -hmm. I would say, even to add with that, you're right, because like the Vatican so called came out with his name, but it's a name that's been around for a long way, Yahweh. it been around forever. So, I, I was so special about that, and it's already been done. Right. Just like what you said, just like what you said, go to Exodus 31. I'm going to show you exactly what the Vatican did against us. I'm going to show you exactly what the heathen did against us. This is like, this is blunt, like right Exodus. in our face. Yeah. Exodus 31, um, 13 through uh, 17. What you got? One last thing. Uh, what's up with one last thing? What's a prophet? Like, what is like the definition of a prophet? The definition of a prophet? Yeah. The prophet is the one that our father sent in forth his anointed. He sends the anointed to go tell you it's like a warning, a messenger. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? You don't listen to that messenger and that message. See, 
people attack the flesh thinking, man, I don't like, okay, Brother Yaquav, he out here on the corner preaching to me. I hate him. You know, they don't realize is that, all right, you know how to say, don't kill the messenger? That's not his message. He's bringing that message from somewhere else. And more so a prophet, he's bringing a message from him. That prophet not out there on his own will. He's doing the will of his father. So you need to listen to that message. Jonah, perfect example. <laughs> Jonah was sent there by the father. He didn't want to go. And he tried not to, so our father got on him. So when he finally went there and told them what they, they wrongs were, they never got together, didn't they? See what I'm saying? Going to give it to that brother. He refused. He ran. He, he ran. Jumped, he even jumped on the boat, thought he was just fine selling, mm -hmm. and all kind of tempest came at him while they was on the boat, and all the guys were going to say, well, we've done what we need to do, but who on him got a problem? Mm -hmm. Well, he was the one. And what they did, put him over the board. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. The thing is, the prophet. You not doing your own will, right. and you doing the will of your father. The people may hate you, but ultimately, you know what they're saying? They hate him. Mm -hmm. That's not your words. That's his. Mm -hmm. See, that's why when I tell you when you preach to people, they get mad at you. Don't take it personal. Mm -hmm. Do not take that personal. That's them slapping him in the face, and they gonna answer for that too. That's right. And I really believe he gonna bring that back to their attention. My servant came to you. you can't say mm -hmm. you didn't hear his message. Yeah. So what about?